Hi, I'm Justin Roberts, alongside Mr. Uh, Blair Harris. Mm -hmm. How is everyone? Welcome to your June 2017 Misadventures newsletter. Uh, again, we are your hosts here at Eurosport Asheville, and uh, we want to say thank you for being here, and uh, welcome to the summer. So the weather is warm, business has been good, we've been very busy. We've got lots of new stuff uh, to talk about, to walk around. So. Uh, in this episode, we will first be giving you an update on some of the recent rides um, and events that Eurosport Asheville was involved in. Uh, this is near and dear to our heart because two of these events are very close to home here. And uh, without further ado, uh, on April 1st was the very first Tail Chaser 250. It was in Brevard. It was a dual sport ride to benefit the Boys and Girls Club. And it was a huge success. And one of the participants and uh, I want to say organizers was Mr. Blair Harris. Uh, and I uh, wanted to touch base with Blair and get an idea of how he thought the event went, uh, the good points, and also what they needed to work on. I, I really, uh, I didn't organize much. I just uh, was along for the ride. I think Chad Banner deserves uh, just many accolades. That guy did such a good job. Um, I think they were able to to raise uh, 60, almost $6,300 for the Boys and Girls Club. It's not about the money, it's about what the money's used for. Um, but man, the ride itself was, uh, it was really well thought out and I had nothing to do with it, I just rode it. The, the ride was well thought out. It was about 170-ish miles of dual sport. We had uh, uh, really challenging gravel sections in a couple places. Um, the road sections of it are just gorgeous. Uh, we're so lucky to live in this area uh, and have the roads that we have access to. Um, the weather couldn't have been more perfect. It rained a few days prior. You had, uh, Kept all the dust down. Man, hundreds, yeah, hundreds of riders out all day and uh, no dust uh, yeah. anywhere. It was just perfect. Yeah, it was really, it was awesome riding in to the shop on Saturday morning the first. When I was riding in, there were so many bikes uh, heading towards Brevard for the start of the ride at the rebrand so it was pretty cool how you know two worlds colliding but yeah, it was really really nice to to be involved in that I was pleased to see like all the different types of bikes too I mean they're obviously GS's but you had KLR's and V-Stroms and you had street bikes and a couple of Harleys out there and they I mean it, it was about the it was about the Boys and Girls Club and it was about hanging out with people um you kind of leave your bike preferences at the house and, and just show up and ride. It was awesome. Yeah, so again, on May 19th, uh, Chad Banner, the organizer of the Tail Chaser, uh, donated with a big presentation to the Cindy Platt Boys and Girls Club of Transylvania County a check for $6,275. So for everyone that was involved in it, thank you. Yeah, Blair, thank you so Chad, much. everyone, thank you and uh, hopefully next year it'll just be bigger and better. Uh, the next ride that we were really involved in was the was the Hi, fourth edition. Boogie. There it is. We boogied yeah. down on May 13th. Uh, we did have a silent auction the evening before. Uh, it was a huge success. Uh, food donated by 12 Bones. It was just a great time for everyone that was involved. Uh, all that money was donated or will be donated to the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation and then the big ride which featured again a couple different variations but all three were very challenging from what we've been told and uh, again a really really nice uh, group the Asheville BMW riders this is I would consider their highlight of the year it is an absolute pleasure working with them on this and uh, from everyone uh, at Eurosport Asheville to the Asheville BMW riders group uh, you know the Parkway Foundation it is a wonderful road that we all enjoy here in the area. Yeah, and uh, it's really easy to be jaded and take it for granted because we have such quick access to it, and it's always in perfect condition. But it takes a lot of time and money to keep that up. Um, and as funding gets cut for stuff like that, we need to really make sure that we're doing our part to at least be aware of it, if not donating money. Yeah. So that was a huge success. I think they had pre-registered around 75 riders. Usually at these events, uh, more come and show at the door, but uh, they will be having their, uh, what is now a yearly presentation to the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation 
uh, it, it'll be later on it's usually later in the year but uh, we will stay in touch there um, and also uh, coming up on this edition we're gonna step away from the office here and we're gonna let mr. Harris do a special walk around on what is his new bike the 2017 1290 Super Adventure R from KTM. It's the best thing I've ever bought. We also have the new 1090R and the new updated 2017 uh, 1290 Super Duke from KTM. So uh, we will be having an orange edition here for the June 2017 Misadventures newsletter. Again, I'm your host, Justin Roberts and Mr. Blair Harris. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. We'll see you in a moment. Hello. Thanks for joining us. How about a 2017? This is the new uh, KTM 1090 Adventure R. Mm. She's stunning. Mm. Takes a lot of cues from last year's 1190R. Um, cosmetically very similar. A drastically different power plant. A little higher power to weight ratio, I think. Um, bear in mind that the two bikes I'm going to show you today don't come out of the box with luggage. Uh, there's a lot of different options for luggage, though. Um, this one's equipped with the Tour Tech side cases. Uh, the 1090R is going to run uh, about 200 plus mil of travel. Suspension front and rear, uh, about 125 horsepower, under 500 pounds. Um, some of the most sophisticated suspension that we have access to. Just an incredibly easy to control and maneuver bike. If you want to uh, kind of compare this to uh, another brand, let's Let's look at like the BMW F800 and Tiger 800 for comparison as far as price and uh, and performance to the ground. I suppose this is uh, just going to be head and shoulders above just about anything, if not everything. Very performance oriented. Yeah, this is uh, just imagine uh, your sole focus is to be the fastest and most nimble in a given category. That's kind of KTM's mantra to begin with, but. Uh, in the middleweight adventure bike segment, this is probably uh, one of the best, um, yeah, one of the best options we've got. Uh, tubeless tires or non? These are tubeless. It's a 21 inch front, 18 inch rear setup. Uh, and they have uh, TKC 80s standard on the bike. There's tons of street tire options available. It's got a fairly reasonable seat height. Um, the seat's uh, comfortable for just about everybody. Uh, we've had a couple of folks lower the 1190Rs with a suspension modification. If you feel uncomfortable with this seat height, there's still a ton of travel and we can drop the bike a little bit. All right, what's that behind you, sir? This thing here, again, doesn't come with luggage. I'm gonna try not to geek out on either of these things. Um, this is uh, just a, an amazing engineering marvel. Oh, we're running 160 horsepower, um, just over 500 pounds. Uh, also very nimble and easy to control. Um, is that an LED headlight, Mr. Harris? It is an LED headlight, and it incorporates some of Bosch's uh, lean sensing technology, so it, uh, it acts as an active cornering light. This is officially the first bike I've ever driven that I didn't require immediately have auxiliary light. See if you can get a shot of this display. Uh, I wish this one we was turned on, but the new dashboard from KTM. This is a TFT display uh, built by Bosch, uh, along with their new control panels. Uh, very user friendly, uh, daylight readable, tons of information, easy access to it. Uh, just an absolute joy to drive. Cruise control. Cruise control is standard. Woo! Just what? a happy bike. What other features are you in love with on your new ride, Mr. Harris? Um, the lean sensing traction control and ABS is uh, amazing. It makes anybody a safer driver. If you're a spirited driver, uh, it makes it a little, a little easier to, to kind of keep the speeds up and give you some confidence that the bike's going to try as hard as to stay underneath you. Obviously, you need to ride with respect to the machine because it makes a huge amount of power. Uh, I remember this one time I didn't. Um, <laughs> the software updates, just to clarify for everyone. Yeah, uh, which software updates do you consider? So the software updates from KTM that KTM offers as upgrades. Oh man, so uh, out of the box this thing is incredibly capable. Um, 
there is uh, a handful of options, there are a handful of options rather, one of them being hill hold control, um, one is uh, quick shift plus, so up, up shift and down shift clutchlessly. Uh, the travel pack includes those two things along with the Bluetooth MyRide system and uh, Justin's mounting something to me. Also the performance pack oh, is yeah. the other one. So these bikes come absolutely loaded, but when you want to take it to another level, uh, our service department and our team here, uh, we have delivered three or four already of these bikes, and the upgraded kits are nice, clean, and simple. Uh, it's just simple software download uh, that we do on the computer that just takes a little time, but um, this is that is a look at the two new adventure bikes from KTM. As you can tell, Mr. Harris is extremely excited um, thank you Blair for that walk around on the two new 2017 KTM adventure bikes uh, again it has been a wonderful start to the year and we have you to thank uh, so thank you for your continued support and uh, we are honored to have the opportunity to be your dealer to support you on this journey so uh, we will continue to push and uh, with that we have so many uh, new bikes, new opportunities, new experiences, new rides coming up. Um, we are honored to be a part of these events uh, like the Blue Ridge High Pass Boogie and the Tail Chaser 250. Uh, we are so happy that uh, those events were successful and we look forward to many, many more. Uh, in the future, we do have multiple new bikes still coming in for 2017. Um, four new BMWs specifically the 310R, the 310GS, the new K1600B Bagger from BMW, and then lastly, the super cool retro Urban GS based off the 9T. Uh, again, 2017 has started with a bang. Uh, we are so excited to keep this rolling. A lot of the new apparel uh, that we spoke about in the previous Misadventures newsletter is here. The shelves are stocked and loaded. Uh, I cannot stress enough even in the heat of the summer to gear up when you ride. It is extremely important. It is our responsibility uh, as a dealer. It is our responsibility to educate and to offer the best products to protect you while riding. So if you ever have any questions, any concerns, please email, call, stop in uh, Denise our apparel manager and our whole team we are happy to help in any way we can uh, again thank you for a great start to the 2017 season uh, many many exciting things happening uh, I hope everyone has a safe riding month here in June and uh, we look forward to seeing you next month ride safe and roll on